we're going to get into all that. But first, I want to get into this this crazy story out in California, this methane leak that you actually, kudos to you for bringing to my attention. You asked me, you said, did you know that there's a huge methane leak in California? And I was like, no. Uh, how bad is this thing from what you've seen in the past hour and a half? How bad is this? I'm a little alarmed at what I'm seeing. And the reason I found out about this is because uh, Aaron Brockovich is actually going to be going on KFI AM 640 on Thursday morning to um, talk about what's going on in uh, in the Canyon Hills area. And this is uh, – the place is called Aliso Canyon Park. And I know this area pretty well. It's right next to uh, Palisades. Porter Ranch is one of the big, bigger subdivisions in the area. It's um, just a little bit north of Chatsworth. It's uh, slightly east of Simi Valley. And um, it's in an area that we know is prone to earthquakes because it's like Northridge is right there. Ground zero for like a big earthquake in the L.A. area. So um, when I found out about this today, uh, that she was going on the show, you know, I started searching and I see that there's actually been flight restrictions placed over this area. It's a no-fly zone since December 11th because the FAA is actually worried about jet engines igniting from the increased amounts of methane in the air. And I thought, how much methane here are we talking about? Well, it turns out to be about 110,000 pounds per hour that are leaking out of the ground. And so, you know, I, I brought up a couple of recent news stories. In fact, we're going to play some clips about this. This situation has actually been going on for seven weeks since the end of October. And it seems like it's been confined pretty much locally. Um, you know, the residents are, are freaking out about it because they've been smelling it and people are getting sick and they're getting bloody noses. And, you know, what have you and I been dealing with mostly in the last couple months is Westlake, which is in St. Louis. Completely different problem. But again, we've got we've got some stuff that was buried in the earth that, you know, is now close to catching on fire. Manhattan Project nuclear waste. Now we've got this other methane leak going on right next to where the Rocketdyne facility is that's had three meltdowns since the 60s, two of which people know about. They don't know about the third one. That's only, we know that because of a whistleblower who used to work there. But there's been three meltdowns in that area, and, you know, there's tons of cancer around there. There's retinoblastoma, which is like a really rare eye cancer in children that's rampant in this area. There's brain cancer. Um, Aaron Brockovich has actually represented some of the families whose kids are sick with cancer in the area and Moore Park and Chatsworth. And I've done shows before with Loren Murray about Chatsworth. Um, Michael Landon, Patrick Swayze, uh, Vince Neal's kid, the little four-year-old, died there with a rare stomach cancer. And, you know, Swayze, I, I don't even remember how many what cancer he had. I think it was pancreatic. Landon had pancreatic, too. They spent a lot of time in this area. In fact, I think Swayze actually, like, grew up or lived there. And then they were shooting films there, and Little House on the Prairie was shot there. And pretty much anyone who's, like, worked or lived in this area has been touched by just horrendous health defects. And and so, you know, um, now there's this methane leak, and it turns out there's this underground storage there of natural gas. There's a line. It's a pipe that's about, I think, 2,000 feet down, they said. It's over 1,000 feet. And what they're going to try to do, they've been – you know, um, kind of dicking around with how to plug this leak and, and inject cement into the well. They've tried, I don't know, like five times to cap it, and they can't do it. So RSOE actually had something on here on their map today about it. And uh, some of the, the quotes from the, the people who are working in this area, they've, they've restricted it now just to daytime-only work because they're worried about sparks or machinery setting off this methane cloud. They've brought in like sophisticated, uh, something similar to like a FLIR imaging system where they, they're actually visualizing the gas coming out of the ground. And it's huge, 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 huge. Like this cloud floating through this canyon is enormous. And, um, you know, people live all over around this area. And they already shouldn't be there because of Simi Valley. And so, you know, health officials, of course, now are showing up to these meetings because over the last seven weeks, people are really getting worked up about it. 
already families have been relocated to like motels in the area. Some by the company, some have just done it on their own because the, the smell is so overwhelming. And the health officials are trying to reassure the people, it's okay, it's okay, this isn't going to cause any immediate health effects, but maybe years down the road you might have some health effects. And, you know, in the meantime, their kids are coming home from school and they, they have bloody noses since this is going on. They have the added contamination of what they're already being exposed to living in this area from the previous meltdowns. We know there's uranium in the water supply in L.A. It's been there for years. This has been documented by Busby. It's been documented by multiple lawsuits, and it's part of it is from um, the, the Rocketdyne meltdowns. So you've got like a synergistic effect or a multiplier, force multiplier between these different conditions going on. These people are now getting hit with methane. You know, there could be hydrogen sulfide if this – we don't really know. Like we only know what this company is telling us. But you and I were together over Thanksgiving, and you probably remember the phone call I got from Donna Young in Utah. This seems like an unrelated issue, but you'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. Um, Donna Young, and, and you guys, have, if you've heard me on, on this show before talking about birth defects, there's been something that's been going on in Utah for a while now, for over a year, and a midwife named Donna Young started you know, blowing the whistle about stillbirths and miscarriages and birth defects that are happening in this community and they're happening at a much higher rate than other areas of Utah. And and so I got in contact with her. I saw an article about her in like Newsweek or Time. She's been all over interviewed in Rolling Stone and everything about this problem. Um, she's had, you know, all kinds of like threats made to her life because the whole community there is heav- heavily involved in like fracking and oil and gas industry. Um, you know, and as people's livelihood, so they don't like her (laughs) making waves about this situation. And she's been trying to figure out what's happening. And we knew that there was a lot of radiation that landed there in the first couple weeks after Fukushima. In fact, Salt Lake City was one of the highest places in the United States. It had the same level of, I believe it was iodine, I'd have to go back and check, as Fukushima itself. Um, Florida was super hot, Midwest was super hot, Salt Lake City was super hot. So we thought originally maybe you know, it had something to do with the fallout. Um, she said she had, her kids had noticed that there were like, you know, frogs with birth defects, you know, extra legs and things in the ponds on their property. She had a number of cattle, um, about half of the babies in her herd that were stillborn. Her neighbor across the street that also owns like more cattle than she does, about half of his newborns were stillborn or had birth defects and this is all new and there's you know there's like radioactive waste burning that's going on upwind of them and Clive and then the Fukushima thing but there's also a big big fault there the Wasatch fault that runs right through this area and so you know the first thing Donna did she's a very intelligent woman she completely understands how the force multiplier works you know as soon as um, someone comes to her for um, prenatal care um, and with the intention of having her, you know, deliver their, their baby, she puts them on a strict diet, you know, no gluten, only filtered water, only this, only that. And, and some of these women have had like miscarriages after taking baths, like they're filling their bathtub, you know, stay, staying in there because their back hurts or whatever because they're pregnant. And then they get out of the bathtub and they end up like going to the hospital and losing the baby. So it's like, you know, holy crap, what is going on here? And this has happened multiple times. This isn't just like once or twice. This has happened like dozens of times in the last year. So she started, she like hired a toxicologist to start analyzing water and radon and everything that's in these women's houses, all these women that lost babies, all these women who lost babies. And she called me like two days before Thanksgiving and at the time, she had told me they were finding hydrogen sulfide levels were about six times higher than what they had tested out in the past. She had one house um, the week of Thanksgiving that tested in at like 60 times higher than what it tested at a year ago of hydrogen sulfide. So that's coming out of the ground. Why all of a sudden it's coming out of the ground in these massive quantities in this area? You know, could it have to do with fracking? I mean, unless you actually get in there and see the infrastructure, and see what's going on. You can only do so much with Google Earth. You can actually do a lot with Google Earth, which 
we've been doing since we came back from this last road trip, looking at what's going on with the roads. So, you know, we we have some outgassing that appears to be happening, which is uh, something that can occur commonly prior to large earthquakes. I don't know if this has to do with, with what's going on in the L.A. Northridge area, but this is already a hot spot for earthquake activity. And now this big gas field is venting huge amounts of methane to the point where people are having to be evacuated. People are suing. You know, lawyers are starting to speak for the people. And, I, I mean, it's just – it's horrendous, and I guess we'll listen to one of the clips and see what these people are dealing with at these meetings and kind of health effects. And we'll be tying this all in together, or trying to, during the show. Details now. This is new video you're looking at here this morning. This is different than what you saw the other day. This is of the massive gas leak in Porter Ranch. It's time-lapse footage that appears to show a giant cloud of methane gas barreling down the mountain there. And the problem does not just affect people in Porter Ranch. California Air Resource Board estimating the leak is releasing about 50,000 kilos of methane per hour. That is comparable to 200,000 cars running for a year straight.